Hey what's up, Jason here from Unity3D.College. In this video I'm going to show how to use layers in the tile map system that's included in 2017.2. If you haven't watched my previous video on tile maps, I'd go check that out first where I cover some of the basics and how to set up physics and colliders with tile maps. In this one we're, like I said, just going to do layering, so it'd be helpful to have a little bit of both. So to get started I need a tile map pack. So I'm using this backyard top-down tile set. I'm just going to import this right in. And then I want to create a tile map under game object, 2D object, tile map. You see this has created a grid with a single tile map. This tile map part right here is actually the layer. And I'm going to rename this layer to terrain. This is going to be our background terrain. Um, I'm going to select a tile that I want to paint. But first I need to open up the tile palette. So that's under window, tile palette. And here you can see I have it docked to the side by default it'll pop up as a big window in the middle so I want to create a new palette this is what we will use to paint things and I'm gonna call this terrain just hit create and then it asks for a folder I'm just gonna leave it as the default for now where it was now I'm gonna pick a couple of textures that I want to use I'll pick like these six and just drop them all in and it's going to ask me again for a folder to create the asset files in. And there we go. We have all of these tiles in here. We can drop in other tiles later. So if I want to take this one, Backyard 06, and drop it in, I can just keep adding to this tile palette. And think of this kind of as paint brushes. These are ones that you can use to just paint out on the scene. So with it selected, I can go over here and just start painting with the paint tool. I can also use this rectangle tool to do like a rect fill. And then you can hold shift and use either one of these to delete. So I'm holding shift right now and just deleting things out. I'm just going to paint in a little bit of a terrain. Let's see, let me select this one and paint it in. Maybe this. Just kind of, oh, I don't like that one. Doesn't work well with what I want to do here. Let's go with a couple of these flowers. So there I've got a, a basic little terrain. And what I want to do is add things on top of this. So I need to create another layer. To do that, I'm just going to go to this terrain object and I'm going to create another tile map renderer. So I could duplicate this, but I think it'll keep the data there. What I really want to do is just go to game object, 2D object, and tile map. And see, it just created another tile map and a tile map renderer for me. I'm going to rename this to foliage. And then I'm going to be painting on some trees and rocks and everything else here. So I'm going to go back to my tile palette and I could just add in these other objects like this rock right here to this tile map and it'll work totally fine. Um, in fact, why don't I show that real quick and then I'll show you how to do the other one. And I don't want this one though. I, this one is not transparent. I want this transparent rock. So here I'm going to create an asset for the transparent rock and then right here you can see I have an active tile map. It's set to terrain. I want to change it to this new map that I created, the foliage one. And now you can see I can overlay and just draw on top of it. So I can put these rocks down right on top of there. If I go back to the terrain one, you'll see that when I drop it down, it's actually clearing out the other spots. Let's see that up close. You see, it, it instead of going on top, it's just replacing. So I'll go back to foliage level and just start painting on some rocks. Now, before we go, I want to show you how to create another palette. So I'll create a second palette, and I'm going to name this one Foliage. Now, I'm not sure if you want to create a bunch of palettes for different types of things, but I would assume you kind of want to have a little bit of variation there so it's easy to find things that belong on different layers. So here I'll just create one with, I don't know, all of the things that I can see that look like they might be transparent. A little bit hard to tell in this preview window. Drop these out. And we'll just keep them all in the same folder. So now I can go in and just start painting you know, trees, bushes, rocks, make all kinds of interesting things. Um, and then I guess one other thing I want to make sure to point out is this order and layer value. So if the order and the layer, if your layers aren't showing up right and you see like you're painting foliage on top of things and it's not on top, you know, it's showing up behind or just not visible. It could be this order. So they default to zero and you just want to change them so that the things that are on top have a higher value. So foliage would be on top of that and then you know, other special stuff that would be on top of this layer would be a higher layer level. 
And I think that kind of covers a lot of the basics here. So you should be able to build a little tile game. Looks like I've broken this tile right here. Uh, maybe I'll fix it. Let's, let's, let's go back over to the terrain one. Oh, and yeah, we'll select a terrain piece and just paint that on. There we go. I'd broken it with, I think I deleted this one out. Um, the other thing just to point out real quick is when you're done working in the tile map system, it's a little bit confusing as to how you get back to working with other things. Like when you start, want to start moving around sprites and stuff, it, it can be a pain. Like I wasn't able to select them. I kept having the tile map selected. The way that I fix that is just closing this tile palette that seems to close down the tile map system and then let you get back to work as normal. So hopefully that helps a little bit. Like I said, I'm still new to the system and still kind of learning things and I think it's still evolving and growing. So check it out though, play with it and see if you can come up with something cool. If you do, make sure you share it and let me know. And don't forget to like and hit subscribe. Thanks for watching.